Hey, girls. Come on. We've got to treat her feet again. She's had one treatment, doing a second one. Oi! Leave him! And you need a treatment as well. So, before I move them to a new field, I'll do some about three feet treatments in the flock. It's amazing. I used to have to foot ba bathe them once a month. As a rare breed, it was horrendous, the scald and foot rot. And now I only have to treat two or three. It's partially a breeding program. And uh, well, I'd say mostly a breeding program in just not keeping stock that um, or breeding from stock that gets scald, producing a tougher breed of sheep. Just like Ebony here is eating the grass around the nettles and the puppy's trying to play with her as she eats the grass. <laughs> You're a funny pup. You are a funny pup. Uh, and everybody, grass seed is getting everywhere. So all the dogs are itchy. Anyway, I better treat the feet before it gets too hot as we're due to get a very roasty day and even hotter tomorrow. So I'm gonna walk. They're all grazing all the clover here and everything, scrummy and delicious. And as you can see, sadly, I haven't gotten to this job yet. I've sorted some, but not all. But <laughs> you know what's up, don't you? <laughs> no flies on you, eh, Ebony? Let's see. Come on, girls! Woo! Come on! Out of girls! Come on! Ebony, rather. There. Yes, ear feather. Good girl. Okay, stage two completed. I have to, I dumped some food there to keep them interested. 
and coming through so they didn't go backwards. And now I'm gonna have to get some more magic bucket filler to get them all up into the yard to treat feet and then release them into another, um, release them into another um, field other than the orchard. Dang, uh, how annoying that uh, I didn't think to save some of the, um, to save some of the uh, magic bucket mix. Look at you, sore foot. So that's number three that needs to be treated. There's only three that need treating. You can see the condition on some is not very good because they just didn't like the fleece and so having their fleeces on. But they'll fatten up now, having been shorn. She's in great fettle, aren't you? And her sister. These are the half-breed twins. Are in really good form. Drinking water. Okay, you guys. dripping on your nose. So I've got to divide them up. If I divide them up, I can then make it easier to treat a few at a time this lot. Close this gate. And Move you guys out. Come on. Come on. There we go. Close this gate. Open this gate. Move down here. Come on. On you. Excuse me, a little bit. Go on, get, go on. A little bit. There we go. Now, they'll go down that pathway. Go on, go on. She's one of the lame ones. Go down there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go on, there we go, move down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you don't, little bit. Come on, you're going down there. 
You're going down there. It's easier to work on you. <laughs> there we go. Now that's compact and I can work on them and give them all an oral dose of vitamins and minerals with this heat. They will need extra vitamins and minerals as well. So I'll do several sections of them doing this and treating feet. You eating metal, do you need a metallic substitute? So this is the final lot. All given a mineral dose. And uh, those that needed it got a little bit of um, foot spray. There were only three, which was great. Come on, girls. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We did net. Yeah, Aegis. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out. Good girls. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Clever pup. Oh, can you squeeze? Oh, just. Puppy gaps are no longer as easy as they once were. Okay, next stage is to move you all down to another field. Isn't that right?